So, where were you six years ago? What were you doing? How were you feeling? Do you even know? Do you even remember? Before we even begin, I want you to drop a comment down below telling me something, anything, about where you were in your life six years ago. Welcome back, gringos. Today is June 5th, 2020, which also just happens to be... My birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, enough. Sorry about that. And it really just got me thinking about where I've been on my past birthdays. Around 2011, I started using Google Calendar as a way to organize my life. And it's pretty cool because I can look back on the years and see exactly what I was doing on a certain day. That also means that it ends up working as a journal. I recommend you try it out. So today I thought it would be pretty cool to time travel through my last six birthdays to show you guys how much has changed for me since I started traveling and hopefully inspire you to live as much as possible in the next six years of your life. So let's go back. So the year was 2014. I had already been in Melbourne for about five months, but I was still really struggling to find a job. I was actually volunteering at an Indian restaurant called Lentils as Anything, and I was just doing anything I could to get some experience, and apparently I was also doing some barista courses to learn how to make coffee. I was still struggling to meet people, so unfortunately I don't think it was the most memorable of birthdays, but I can tell I was already starting to come out of my comfort zone learn new abilities and skills, which would end up bringing very positive things into my life in the next years. A year later, in June of 2015, interestingly enough, the country had changed, but the struggle was still very much real. At that point, I had only been in Queenstown, New Zealand for a month, so my schedule was just packed with trials and interviews. But I did manage to land not one, but two part-time jobs by the end of that month. Pretty good birthday present. If you'd like to hear more about those jobs, you can check out this video. And I'm pretty sure I was still living at a hostel at that time, which means that my birthday was probably fueled by some very boozy activities with all my roommates. In June of 2016, I was still in New Zealand, but already working full time as a barista. I was living with some pretty amazing people and in a house with this view. Couldn't complain too much, I guess. Those were definitely some good times, and apparently from my calendar, I threw a party on Saturday called Debauchery. Debauchery. And it looks like I went skydiving by the end of that month, so pretty good month all in all. But in contrast, June 2017 did not give me a good birthday week. I mean, the setting was pretty perfect. I was learning how to scuba dive on an island in Thailand, but in a freak accident, I ended up blowing my eardrum. And to make matters just a little worse, when I was sleeping that same night, an insect bit my bottom lip, making it swell up to the size of a baseball. So I had to interrupt my scuba course, start taking antibiotics, which of course meant that I couldn't drink on my birthday. Bummer, man. So I think all of that contributed to a pretty low-key birthday day, but the rest of that month compensated for it for sure. It seems that I went to my second full moon party, which was just as terrible as the first one. But I did spend one week in Tokyo, which I've always wanted to see, with my amazing friend Beth, and by the end of that month, I was already back in Thailand, starting my course to get certified as an English teacher. June 2018 was also a very interesting time. I was finishing up my contract as an English teacher in Hangzhou, China, which made me very happy because I was just about ready to get out of there. The World Cup had just begun, so I was going out to bars and watching all of the games. And those nights definitely served as some pretty good going away parties. And I know I definitely celebrated my birthday enough for the following months because me and a few friends did a three month Euro trip and I literally blew all of the money that I had saved in China, which was about $12,000. No regrets. I have some pretty fond memories of June 2019. I had just come back home to Brazil after spending two months in Chile working at a hostel. My Finnish friend Kira was visiting me in Sao Paulo, and on the 8th, I threw a birthday party with all of my closest childhood friends. Later that month, I visited Colombia, I did some paragliding, as you can see here, and eventually made my way to the northwest of the United States to do a road trip with two of my closest friends. 
my good friend Oscar lent me some money for that American road trip. My lowest financial point since I started traveling. I'm finally free from his chains though. Which brings us to present day, June 2020. Well, in February, I traded Brazil for Portugal. I spent one month there, and in March, I came here to Tbilisi, Georgia. Yeah, my birthday is next week, and I'm just very happy to be in such a lovely country as Georgia, as you can see behind me. I think I live somewhere down that way. And I do feel like I made the right decision. I'm pretty thankful to be in a safe haven of sorts during this world pandemic. I've managed to meet some lovely people. I'm surrounded by nature. I'm able to work and save some money. And I'll be able to travel at least domestically in the following months. But because nothing is perfect, and this is particularly true in solo travel, I also have been struggling with some anxiety and or health issues that I'm still trying to figure out. But I've definitely been doing all I can to try and take steps in the right direction. I think we're all going through some crazy shit right now. So now I want to know, where do you see yourself next year? Where do you think you'll be or where do you want to be in June of next year? Let me know down in the comments. So I had the original goal of getting a thousand subscribers by the end of 2020, but COVID has definitely not helped me in that journey. So I've lowered it to a more realistic number of 500. Lowered it to 500. So if you want to support this channel, please subscribe, hit the bell, and let me help you live your most adventurous life. I'll see you next week, gringos.